Sarah Ferguson has revealed she has been exchanging letters with King Charles amid the devastating news about their cancer diagnoses. The Duchess of York made a speech at the Cancer Alliance Hope and Health Luncheon in Palm Beach where she spoke about her own experience facing breast cancer and undergoing a mastectomy last summer. Her melanoma was discovered when several moles were removed during her treatment for breast cancer, as after undergoing tests one was found to be malignant. She told the crowd gathered in Florida that the king is very dear to me and he is in her thoughts and prayers after it was confirmed on Monday that he is also being treated for cancer, although it has not been established what type. Fergie posted on Instagram after the event, His Majesty is very dear to me and I think I speak for everyone when I say he is in my thoughts and prayers. It felt like a timely moment to help raise funds to support others dealing with cancer diagnoses, who may be going through financial or emotional struggles in light of a health emergency. After news broke about Fergie's skin cancer, the king reportedly reached out to her to wish her well and she then responded in kind. The pair are said to be incredibly fond of one another and have exchanged friendly letters during their health battles as they both are trying to remain upbeat. King Charles underwent routine surgery for an enlarged prostate last month, however it was confirmed this week that a form of cancer had been discovered. He is said to be in good spirits as the disease was caught early and is now recuperating at Sandringham following his first treatments as an outpatient in London. Although he will not be working full-time as a royal he is said to be determined to carry on with business as usual as much as possible, carrying out meetings online and over the phone. Last Christmas Fergie took royal watches by surprise as she joined the royal family at Sandringham for their festive celebrations and was seen walking to St. Mary Magdalene Church with the firm for their annual Christmas service.